Beneath the Anatolian soil, a hidden history comes to light. Archaeologists have unearthed remarkable evidence, the earliest known steel, at a site in Turkey dating back a staggering 4,000 years. This discovery rewrites our understanding of metalworking, pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity further back in time. Despite its ubiquitous presence in our world, steel isn't a material you'll find buried underground. The journey to steel begins with iron ore, a rock rich in iron oxides. Extracting this key ingredient involves either massive open pit mines, where colossal machines claw away at the earth, or a network of tunnels and shafts dug deep underground. Once unearthed, the iron ore is crushed and sent on its way to become the foundation of steel. But steel isn't simply inert, it's meticulously crafted through a fiery transformation. After the initial melt, further refining removes unwanted elements and adds precise amounts of carbon and other alloys to give steel its final properties. According to the World Steel Association, 1,869.9 million tons of steel were produced in 2019. This represents a 3.4% increase in output from 2018 and is more than double the output in 1999. The world has an ever-growing need for steel. It's used in construction, industry, and manufacturing. Being both strong and inexpensive, it is ideal for all types of manufacture. Steel reigns supreme in the recycling world thanks to its unique properties. Unlike many materials that weaken with each reprocessing, steel maintains its strength and performance no matter how many times it's recycled. This magic comes from its metallurgical makeup. But where does all this recycled steel come from? It can be broken down into three main categories. Home scrap generated during steel production itself, prompt scrap like leftover factory trimmings, and obsolete scrap from things like old cars. Remarkably, two-thirds of all new steel comes from recycled sources, with the remaining third relying on virgin ore. This impressive feat is balanced by the very durability of steel itself. Because steel products last for years, a constant stream of virgin ore is still needed to keep pace with our ever-growing needs. The beginning of the steel recycling process for the collection of the steel the steel salvaging process involves steel being picked up, dropped off, or sold as scrap metal. There are companies that will buy or take away steel that is ready to be recycled. Next, it needs to be sorted. When it goes through this process, high-powered magnets can separate the steel from other materials. Larger items need to be bailed before their shipment, and smaller items and scraps are ready to move on. The scrap steel is melted in a steel-making furnace that has a temperature of approximately 3,000 degrees. Steel cans will be mixed with other steel parts, such as automobiles. Once the steel is melted, it is cast into slabs and rolled into flat stock or steel sheets. The flat stock is cut into sections, rolled, and welded into tubes. This tubing can be assembled into a new product.
It is important to note that steel is 100% recyclable, so it should always be recycled. Recycling steel diverts it from the landfill, reduces the need to mine for more ore, and saves energy while lowering greenhouse gas emissions. Steel can be recycled an infinite number of times, and it doesn't lose any of its properties in the process. This takes a non-renewable resource and makes it renewable. There are both environmental and financial benefits to steel recycling. First of all, when steel is recycled, a great deal of energy is saved. The energy it takes to mine and process virgin materials is significantly greater than what it takes to smelt and reuse steel. In fact, studies have shown a 55% or greater reduction in energy use for recycled steel versus new steel. In addition to energy conservation, there is a reduction in the use of coal, iron ore, and limestone. These are all limited resources, meaning that there is a finite amount on Earth. Studies show that every time one ton of steel is recycled, 1,400 pounds of coal and 2,500 pounds of iron ore are conserved. People often think that steel is a metal, but it is actually classified as an alloy, which is a blend of different metals. That said, the primary metal in the blend is always iron. Steel is the most significant material in the history of engineering and construction because of its properties. Steel is best known for its durability, hardness, and toughness. It has a very high melting point, which is 1510 degrees Celsius. This is higher than most metals, including copper, which has a melting point almost 500 degrees lower. In addition, steel has a very high density at 7.9 grams per cubic meter. This is almost eight times as dense as water. Steel is actually harder and stronger than iron. And at the same time, it is flexible and has high tensile strength, which means that it can withstand applied loads without losing its shape. Steel is an alloy made of iron and carbon. It contains less than 2% carbon and 1% manganese, and it has small amounts of silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, and oxygen. It is strong enough to be used in every aspect of daily life, including buildings, cars, appliances, cargo ships, and more. From the fiery heart of the foundry, molten steel takes form. Sand or intricate molds shape it into near-finished pieces. 
while continuous casters at the mill churn out raw building blocks and standardized shapes. These aren't your finished products just yet. Sheets, billets, bars, and more await further transformation. The mill might put the steel through hot or cold rolling processes, influencing its final shape and surface. Heat treatment adds the finishing touch. With techniques like quenching and annealing, whispering the final instructions into the steel's soul, dictating how it will perform in its destined application. Only then, precisely cut, spooled, or bundled, is the steel ready to take its place in the world. If you've delved into the steel manufacturing process used in constructing buildings, manufacturing vehicles, and various products we use daily, the concept of hot rolled steel coil might already be familiar. However, to gain a deeper understanding, let's pose the question, what is a hot rolled steel coil and why does it play a crucial role in modern steel production? Gone are the days of solely manual labor in steel mills. Today, robots take on the brunt of the dangerous and repetitive tasks, keeping workers safe. This automation also brings with it a surge in efficiency. But the advancements don't stop there. Sensors woven throughout the entire process act as the mill's watchful eyes, constantly monitoring everything from scorching temperatures to the precise chemical makeup of the steel. This real-time data allows for fine-tuning on the fly, ensuring both the quality of the final product and the smooth operation of the mill itself. Stepping away from the traditional blast furnace, electric arc furnaces, or EAFs, offer a more sustainable approach to steel production. By utilizing electricity to melt down a mix of scrap steel and iron briquettes, EAFs significantly improve energy efficiency. This method is particularly attractive when a large portion of recycled steel is used. However, the story doesn't end there. After the molten steel exits the EAF, secondary steelmaking takes center stage. Here, various elements are meticulously added to the mix, acting like a recipe to fine-tune the steel's properties. Manganese for extra strength, silicon for corrosion resistance. These precise adjustments ensure the final product meets the specific demands of its intended use.
The solidified steel forms are then subjected to intense heat and pressure using rolling mills or presses. This process reduces the thickness and transforms the steel into various shapes like sheets, plates, bars, or beams. Hot rolled steel coil is a type of steel produced through a high temperature rolling process, often exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius. During this process, the steel billet can change properties, size, and shape to create steel products according to specific requirements. Hot rolled steel coils often feature a characteristic blackish blue surface with an oily sheen. The thickness of these coils usually ranges from 1 mm and above. The edges of hot rolled steel coils are processed to remove sharpness, providing a neat appearance. Hot rolled coils are used to produce HRC steel. The hot rolling process involves heating the steel at high temperatures and then passing it through rollers to achieve the desired shape and thickness. Due to the heating, hot rolled coils are easily shaped or molded to form the steel as required. Finished hot rolled steel products can be used for the car industry, railroads, industrial roofing, steel beam type IH. Hot rolled coil is the material to continue to produce welded steel pipes, cast steel pipes. In addition, it is also a raw material for cold rolled steel production.